How do your assets transfer after death? Learn the basics of wills on this week's edition of WealthWise. Today, I bring you Athens, Georgia-based estate planning attorney, Sarah Morang with Frierson & Morang, who is here to talk to us about the basics of your will. She'll also cover how to plan for minors, including guardian and trustee roles. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you, Deanne, for hosting this event. Today, we'll discuss the basics of a will and will-based estate planning. First, what is a will? A will is an individual's legal declaration of testamentary intention regarding the property of that individual. To be valid at a minimum, the will must be written, signed by the testator, the person writing the will, and signed by at least two competent witnesses in the presence of the testator and each other. The testator must be at least 14 years old, have sufficient testamentary capacity to execute the will, and freely and voluntarily execute the will. Many wills will also contain other provisions which, while not legally required to be a valid will, will ease the burden of probate and estate administration, such as a list of powers of the executor and a notarized self-proving affidavit at the conclusion of the will. When drafting the will, remember that not all assets are controlled by your will. Certain assets which are owned jointly with survivorship with another person or assets which have a beneficiary or transfer on death designation will pass outside of the will. When drafting the will, consider what will be controlled by it. These are called probate assets. A typical will may include the following. Nomination of fiduciaries. At a minimum, your will should include the nomination of at least an executor who is a person responsible for probating your will and administering your estate. Naming a successor or two is often a good idea. The choice of executor is very important. The person or institution should be trustworthy and capable of managing property. You may also name a trustee, a person responsible for holding and managing property for another, and a guardian, a person responsible for raising a minor child or other person who depends on you. Specific and general bequests. These sections may include a list of gifts to particular people. For example, my home to my spouse, a gift of a certain amount of money to my niece. Too many specific bequests can cause a will to be outdated quickly. Gifts of tangible personal property. A will may include a list of gifts of movable items such as furniture or jewelry, but it may also include a reference to a list the testator intends to prepare at a later date and which is separate from the will. Effective January 1, 2021, Georgia recognizes a written statement disposing of items of tangible personal property other than money if the items are not disposed of by the testator's will and if the document is prepared properly. This can be a useful, flexible way to dispose of sentimental items without engaging an attorney to update the estate plan if the testator's plans regarding family heirlooms change. A gift of the residuary, which is the balance of the estate. This is an essential provision. A residuary bequest gifts the remainder of the testator's estate after payment of debts, cost of administration, funeral expenses, and specific and general bequests. Depending on the testator's estate plan, the residuary bequest can be the smallest disposition or the largest. Provisions regarding testamentary trusts. A testamentary trust is a trust contained within a will that only comes into being at the death of the testator. The will should contain one or more testamentary trust if a testator does not want all of the testator's assets to go outright to the testator's beneficiaries upon the testator's death and has not made plans outside the will with a separate trust. Testamentary trusts are appropriate in many circumstances to provide the testator with greater post-death control of assets. What if a beneficiary should pass before the testator? Would the testator want the gift to pass to the beneficiary's descendants or pass under the residuary clause? In the case of specific gifts, particularly real estate, consider whether any debt secured by the gift should be paid off prior to the beneficiary's receipt of the gift. Are there any beneficiaries who have special needs and may require planning to maintain benefits? Are there any beneficiaries who may have trouble managing assets even though they are all adults? Would a trust be appropriate? Is estate tax planning necessary? Under the current estate tax legislation, each spouse may leave $13.1 million without incurring estate taxes, but this exemption amount is likely to drop in the future unless the legislation is amended. Often, people ask me if they need an attorney to draft a will or estate plan. 
Planning for disposition of assets after death is high stakes and important. I urge you to consult a professional to assist with this planning. Each family's circumstances are unique, and appropriate planning can help an individual or family address unique goals or circumstances by including the proper provisions and documents. Thank you for joining us for this conversation about estate planning hosted by Elevate Wealth Advisory.